as you know so far, everything I do has to do with the mind. M, I, N, and D. Four different letters. M, I, N, and D. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Hi, thank you. Good. I read people. I look at people and I try to tell certain things about them. For instance, I know that if I was to ask you to select one of these cards, mm -hmm. I would know whether you would select the D because maybe you're quiet and the D is kind of enclosed and you're shy. I would know whether maybe you select the N because you have ups and downs in your life. Or maybe the letter I because it represents yourself and you're proud of yourself. Or maybe the letter M because it's the first card and you're not afraid to step out there. I'm going to ask you to take your time. I want you to name any one of those letters. <laughs> M, I, N, or D. Go ahead. Just name it. Just name it? Yeah. Out loud? Out loud. Unless you want to mail it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, I selected it before you told me which, out loud. Go ahead. Which one? M. The M. Interesting. Yeah. You would choose the M. Yeah. The very top card. Uh -huh. Yes? Mm -hmm. This card? Mm -hmm. Hold your hand up, please. Now, I want you to keep in mind that you chose this card. Is that correct? Yes, I did. Just keep it face down in your palm, please. Okay. You could have chosen that card. It says that. <laughs> but you didn't. You chose this card. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. You could have chosen that card. Right. But you didn't choose that card. You could have chosen <laughs> that card. But you didn't choose that card. You chose this card. This card. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm going. I'm going for the psychic vibrations now. I. Ah, <laughs> how about over here? Okay. Will you help me with this? Sure. Because this is a prediction. I'm going to attempt to predict the future. Uh, since you do such a wonderful job shuffling, would you please? Oh, okay. Shuffle them thoroughly. That's good. Ooh. Whoa, that was, that was a tricky maneuver. That was good, boy. Okay. I hardly ever, ever, okay. Now, uh, not that I don't trust you, but I'll give him one more quick little shuffle, <laughs> just to make sure. I'm going to predict the future. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Don't look. That would be cheating. Now, this is, might be a little difficult to understand, but uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. I have predicted the future. I need your help. Okay. The cards were shuffled. I need you to stick this business card into the deck, but keep it facing this direction. Okay. And you may place it anywhere into the pack that you wish and leave it protruding about halfway. Now that's a good spot. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Now remember, you shuffle the cards, I shuffle the cards, you place the business card anywhere into the deck. Mm -hmm. Now that I've already written the prediction, I guess it's okay to show you what it says. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, I know it's hard to see, but that's a five and kind of a spade looking thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's an A and that sort of looks like a what? Diamond. A diamond. So that's a five of spades and an ace of diamonds. Remember, you shuffled the cards, I shuffled the cards, you placed it anywhere in the pack. Mm -hmm. It happens to be between these two cards. Wouldn't it be amazing if, <laughs> out of all the places it could have been selected, it just happens to have been placed between the five of spades and the ace of diamonds. <laughs> That's it. This is my business card connection. This is a routine that I perform if I only have a few seconds with a person and I want to produce my business card in a magical way. I say, I have a little gift for you. Place your hands just like this. Very good. All I have to do is summon a little magic and abracadabra. If you need some magic in your life, just give me a call and that's a lucky card for you.